So GC is the world's most popular separation tool, but very few people understand how it works. So how does this separation tool work? Again, we have this really narrow tube with a thin coating of stationary phase on the inside. So when you make an injection, your analytes are traveling down this tube and they see the stationary phase and they can interact with it. The more li they like the stationary phase, the more affinity they have for it, the more time they'll spend in the column. That means it'll take them longer to come off. So as these molecules are cruising through the column, they're being blown by the, the helium, uh, they see the stationary phase, they interact with it, the more they like it, the more they spend on the column, and that's gonna cause some molecules to retain, to slow down, and that's the basis of separation. So um, let me give you an analogy to, uh, to, to, to understand this. Let's say um, I go to a shopping mall with my sister, and the mall is a very long linear mall, and in the middle there's a moving sidewalk. You stand on the moving sidewalk, and it transports you through the mall. If you see a store that you like, get off the moving sidewalk, spend time at the store. So the very, very first store we come up to is a ladies' dress shop. My sister goes in and spends time. I have no interest in dresses, so I wait on the moving sidewalk. By the time she comes out, I'm gonna be 100 feet in front of her. Now we travel through the mall, 100 feet apart. The second store we come up to is an accessory shop. Hats and gloves and purses. She goes in and spends time. I wait on the moving sidewalk. By the time she comes out, now I'm 200 feet in front of her. The final store we come up to is a lady, lady's shoe store. Now I'm in trouble. She goes in, we call this irreversible adsorption. She goes in and she never comes out. So at the end of the mall, who's gonna come off first? Who's gonna be standing there looking at their watch waiting? Well, I'm gonna come off first because I have very little interest or very low affinity for the stores inside the mall. The same thing happens in GC. All the molecules enter the column at the exact same time. We make the injection, they enter the column, but as they travel through the column, some have a higher affinity for the stationary phase than others, they lag behind, and that's how we do a separation. So if you could understand that shopping mall analogy, you could totally understand GC. It's not any more complicated than that. We just have to fill in the blanks, like why does a molecule like the stationary phase and why does it like it more than another molecule? How can I make it like the stationary phase more? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about as we go through the class.